good morning beautiful people welcome back to our youtube channel sylvia and Corey bichanga and today is an exciting day because we're starting the work on the guest room and Corey painted everything white yesterday i didn't actually get footage of that um, because it was just putting white on white paint um, and filling in some holes where a few pictures were so today is when the transformation starts so they're going to be putting contact paper on the cabinet um, because i really don't like the color of the cabinet so let's go see what they're up to i love you i give you everything you want me to think about it if i could i put down the So here they are, they are just removing the doors right here as you can see um, so that they can paper inside and out. So can you guys introduce yourselves? Hello guys, uh, uh, we are back again, Westside Interiors and we are so privileged to be back with that, with that time. So happy, so happy. Yeah. Yes, across the hall you can see the work. They did the contact paper in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And now which color are you doing in here? Okay, today we have the, the one. This one? Yeah. Okay. So on the... It's almost the same as in my kitchen, yeah? Yeah, it's almost the same, but this one is a bit dark. A little bit more orange yeah. the other one was a little bit lighter but i still like this one there's no problem yeah this is fine and this is what we got so we wanna just uh, we wanna rebound this cabinet uh-huh and make it make them look like this i hope yeah. you can see clearly yeah that is it mm -hmm. And today, as usual, I just came with my guy here, but I uh -huh. let him say hi. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you guys again, back again at It Working. They always do an amazing, amazing job, guys. So go check them out at Westside Interiors. And if you need any contact paper, wallpaper, anything Glass installed. Glass carpets, wall to wall carpets. Uh-huh. Oh, you also install like interior carpeting, like in rooms, wall-to-wall -wall yeah, yeah, carpet yeah. and uh, the fake grass carpet, like on your balconies. They can do all of that. They can even get to the, the products you need. You can order everything through them and they'll come and do it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys. I that the maker of heaven wouldn't love me and know me by name In a world where I feel like a stranger His love came and found me the same In each breath that I breathe When I wake or I sleep Everything I need is found in you the next day hi guys hello we love that you guys come back and watch our videos and today's a fun day it is yeah. we are actually in our guest are you sure room it's fun? <laughs> for me it's fun for me it's a work day yeah it's a work day you're right yes so Corey just got back from the gym i think he's a little bit tired but we're going to try to get this project through for the guest room um, because it's coming together beautifully. As you can see here, Corey has painted 
everything white it was white but he gave it another coat just to cover up some imperfections and you just saw the footage of them wrapping this amazing cabinet and i'm so glad i didn't go with white on the inside here it's just made it look so much more uniform um, because if you remember right there was a door there so since it's all papered the same it has just brought it together and it looks amazing so honey yes do you see everything on this bed guys here's like all kinds of deco that i bought and things for this room we still have a few things coming the curtains are still coming um the bedside tables are coming so you guys stay tuned i'm gonna try to get these videos out to you but can you explain to them what you're about to do in this room today yeah thank you so much for this opportunity baby <laughs> you're welcome thanks well, for being I, the I, handyman I, am i giving a speech <laughs> anyways uh in today's vlog it's all about uh something new something unique yes something that uh i i'm just hoping you guys will love it yes and uh, so as you already you guys you already know i'm um, again today correct the painter yes so i did this one yesterday mm -hmm. i had to do like uh, only one coat because uh, the walls were white so today i want to design half a moon yeah it's gonna be a half a moon it's like a half a moon headboard yeah a half wall. moon headboard half, because half moon, not half a moon half half moon headboard but we knew what you meant maybe it's okay maybe you <laughs> so guys as you can see here's the bed we have like a um platform style bed so it doesn't have any headboard so we're gonna fix that today we are going to make a headboard out of the wall and let show them once again uh, -huh. uh the board of the um i mean what what is this the wood the bed now the bed yes the bed wood uh -huh. it matches so nicely with it with the cabinet with the yeah cabinet. it looks much Perfect. better now yeah. these cabinets if you remember right they were really orangish red i think maybe maybe they can see <laughs> along the bottom they didn't have oh, enough yeah. paper don't look there other times but right now you're allowed to look that's the color that it was but when, when you are standing at this angle you're not able to see mm -hmm. the reddish and the bed will be here so yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen so we are gonna work with this wall mm -hmm. so i'm going to design half moon mm -hmm. and here and uh, it's gonna be tricky because it's something that i've never done also yes like i've never done it before i've always been just painting normally the walls the ceiling but I'm i have faith in you baby you're gonna do it perfectly um i believe in myself i believe in you thank you so much for believing in me so yes. i'm going to design the headboard up to around where the bed will reach yeah around here yeah so it will come this way i bet people are really confused right now what we are talking about let me drop a photo right now yeah. to show you guys what we are talking about and let's get into it Boom. So babe, what's the first step you're doing? First step is to measure the size of the bed. It's around 160. 60, 63 inches or 160. 160. Okay. And also the height, uh, height matters. That's around 50 centimeters. Okay. I need to measure, um, I need a, a pencil. Okay. guys as you can see Corey painted a beautiful half moon here while I went and I took a nap but we are seeing like it's too small the bed will hide most of it so right now he's measuring again to see how we can make it bigger um, 
and make it look symmetrical with the bed but guys i love the color the color is on point what i wanted and i just love how he did the circle it has crisp lines straight edges he has the he knows what he's doing it's just a little bit small right honey yeah so we are just making it a little bit bigger so that it will for sure i wanted it to for sure be a statement piece on this wall and with how high the bed is and then if i stack the pillows upright i just feel like we won't see enough of the the circle so we're just trying to extend it and make it fill up more of this wall i was so hot in here so we started the fan so you'll have to ignore that background noise and we got some light in here and guys just look at this beautiful color i love this color it's called laurel from crown paint so we're seeing how to make how to make it bigger So honey, for people who will want to copy your design, is it difficult? <laughs> um, You're measuring a lot and marking down numbers a lot. How difficult is it to make this? It, was, it needs like um, a lot of uh, calculation. Uh -huh. A lot of calculation because you want to make sure that it, it's balanced do you see how this one it is mm -hmm. like it's you not know, like uh, crooked or it's or straight and uh our half moon it's not starting from the ground right it has to start from somewhere in the middle uh -huh. like if you see we made the sides straight and then the curve doesn't start until further up so you've just found this will, this will be the diameter. Mm -hmm. You need to have no, a high the radius school. of the circle. You need to have a high school education to be able to do it. <laughs> because for me, I'm lost. But he's doing it. So I have to put like a, a line mm -hmm. this way. It goes all the way to the corner. So mm -hmm. this is always the, the diameter mm -hmm. of a circle. Yeah. And uh, this will be the radius of the circle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So each time you want to make half moon, if you don't want to start from the ground, you want, you want to start it from somewhere, you have to draw a line across and it has to be a straight line, yeah? Mm -hmm. A straight line that it's, um, what's wrong with this mosquito? <laughs> so it has to be a straight line that it's not slanted, it has to be from the height of one corner going down and the height from the height has to be the same so that the circle is so that the line can be straight uh -huh. then from that line to make a circle you just look for the diameter mm -hmm. of the mid like a half of the line okay. so that is the big point mm -hmm. that you put maybe a string and a nail then you draw if you want to draw a circle but if you so this do, is the point you'll put in the nail yeah, the and then attach a string. A string we'll video it this time, guys. I'm, go, like, I won't go and sleep. It has to come to this point. Okay. Yeah. From we'll the show them, right? To this point. But it's always tricky. Because mm -hmm. you, you see, I did one line, but whatever I was using, it actually stretched. Mm. So it came so nicely, but it, it pulled. Mm -hmm. So that is why I went overboard. Oh. You learned last time. But I, I, I still need to find like a string. You know we don't have a strong string. So the thing that I was using was this one. Oh. So these are tape. Stretchy. These are a tape and you find that it's not, it's stretching a bit. Mm. So when it's stretched and you are drawing a circle, it's tricky. Yeah, because you can pull on it. So I think we'll have to find another method. So guys, we are making it a little bit wider and a little bit higher to fill this wall. Should we paint the out should we paint the switch green? 
What do you think? Um, for me, I was thinking of painting it green so that it can blend in. It should blend in. Yeah, instead okay. of just leaving it white. Okay. I wish you could get like uh, opinion from our audience if we should just paint it. But you, you find that by the time <laughs> we are done, <laughs> even your comment won't help. Yeah. Unless if I leave it white, yeah. We if could do that. Right, mm -hmm. Then uh, you can you you, you you would like to know your comments. What do you think? Because this video is going it? out tomorrow night, so <laughs> we could still paint the switch Later. next week. Yeah. Later. Because so you guys, please help us in the comment section. Should the switch be green or white? Um, and we'll see what majority says. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was given already the the height. So I actually work, work with the height that uh, my wife gave it to me. It was my fault that the circle was too small. I wasn't understanding the measurement scale of it, but we'll figure it out. Now we'll tie a string to it. We have a shoelace here. We're tying it. Stretching it. I'm still testing. Testing one, two. Perfect. I feel like it's still stretching. You see what it is? <laughs> it's difficult when there's a stretch. Yeah. No, it won't work. <laughs> because this string has too much stretch, stretching we forward. got a twine. This one doesn't have give, so we are going to try with this one now. Alright guys, the trimming is done, now we are filling in the most satisfying part, right? <laughs> yeah. I like this idea, I got it from you. <laughs> and I got it from a subscriber. Um, like, uh, you know we have the tray. Uh, for painting and this tray you find that it's very very expensive and uh, Before we could use maybe black Then we don't it always hard to wipe it then if you want to use a, a different color So nowadays we only put like uh, this but uh, polythene bag Then we pour our paint so when we are done we just we can still remain with the with the tray the tray is the and orange one. And cleanup is so easy. No more washing all that paint off the tray down the drain. There we have 
have it the first coat is on guys so babe what do you think do you think this size looks better than the smaller size i had measured earlier yeah the size is much better it now fills up the wall and the bed will look like it's small in comparison to the circle which is what i wanted you know before it was uh after i was done and i was like will it really be able to fit i was uh, a bit scared even to to wait for my wife to come and see it <laughs> so but finally we've managed yeah we've this managed. size is much better Yes. I wanted it to dwarf the bed, like I wanted the circle to make the bed look small, not the bed to make the circle look small. <laughs> it was the first coat. I'm very pleased with it, babe. Me too. Looks so good. The lines are sharp. Amazing. A few hours later. So guys, Corey is starting on the second trim. How's it going? You know, for the second trim, the second coat is it's always easier much easier <laughs> and faster too yeah nice so I'm, I'm, I, I just started with the edging mm -hmm. then uh, the next step is to use you now the roller okay yes so far so good everything seems to be moving on so well so guys you remember when I was uh, doing the the calculation actually this way I, I was doing my maths <laughs> <laughs> like um, you know diameter mm -hmm. uh, then divide it by two to find the radius so this was like <laughs> crazy so in this type of um, design you just have to be very very careful when it comes to designing it or painting because you must know everything in terms of uh, the calculation, you know. Finding the radius of something yeah. and all that, yeah. Uh -huh. We are down to the wire with the paint, yeah. <laughs> yeah. for nothing more than you think about it, it